Hey everyone, today I'm here at uh, South Coast Audi here in Southern California. Uh, these guys are pretty laid back. They allow me to come on their lot and uh, check out their vehicles and test fit parts and whatnot. Today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, remove and reinstall a rear view mirror. Uh, the rear view mirror for the home leak is uh, yet to be released by Audi, but I wanted to get a jump start on how to release the uh, plastics around it to basically install it. It's uh, three pieces that need to be disassembled and it's a pretty straightforward, just gotta be patient and working with it. Um, so let's check it out. Quickly, these are the tools that you're going to need, a bone tool and a screwdriver. So we're gonna start by taking off this cap right here. This cap here is uh, simple, but yet not simple to remove. You're gonna get your tool you're gonna pry in this top piece inward. Pry it open, like so. And you're gonna do the same on the other side. Bear with me, I'm doing this with one hand. Take your tool. And pry. Once you have it pried open on both sides, like so. Now, you can take and pull down. And this piece comes right off with no damage. Now, we're gonna need to remove this adjunction piece here, but it's locked in from this piece. And I'll show you how to remove that here. So now that we got the cap off, we can simply just come over here and these mirrors are designed to break off. So you're just gonna gently rock this towards you Okay, and the mirror comes off. We're gonna remove this cap with no damage out of its way. Disconnect this. Now the mirror is disassembled. So now we're ready to remove this piece. And now with everything kind of out of the way, it's a little more easier to maneuver. We'll take this part here. Come off like so. disengaged the bracket from the other side and now we have enough space and clearance here to reinstall the mirror so the way we're going to be doing this is removing the whole thing just for installation purposes Basically repeat the other thing on the other side. Come right out. As you can see, nothing broke. Everything's all intact. And now we have it ready to be installed. Okay, so now we're gonna show the reinstallation of the mirror. We're going to pretend this is the new home link mirror. Obviously it's not, so no dumb comments. This is just for the uh, purpose of showing you how to remove the plastic cladding without damaging anything. So here we're gonna reinstall the plug, making sure the connection's 100%. There's these two guide openings here where these alligator type clips, I wanna say alligator, I'm probably using the wrong terminology, go right in here. As you see, it fits in place. You're going to take the whole mirror and with your hand, other hand, the top piece, help turn it. And it goes right into place, locks into place. And that's pretty much it there. Then what you're going to do is install this piece here. 
Okay, this piece is a little bit tricky because you got some stuff to maneuver around in. Come around from the other side and you see it went right in. Okay, so you kind of hold that in place, let it float. Now we're going to be installing the uh, plate we removed, making sure these pins here, okay, oops, these pins up here line up and go into these into these holes up in here these up these other clips here wrap around these brackets now holding it in place and guiding this at the same time get it right on center push that into place push that into place snaps right into place put that up in place we're done there keep the mirror tilted down now the tricky part here is there's a small gutter that I'll show in a picture that goes right in here that this falls in here in the line and there is two clips here okay that need to go into place and the way that happens is we're going to put this here slide it up okay and now what we need to do believe it or not is help it back just a hair push in and then once we do that okay and align it into place we're going to take a bone tool and push rock this back and as you can see locked it nicely in place we do the same thing on the other side and that's so as you can see no mar marks nothing broken Everything the way it's supposed to be, like factory, and that's how you do it. It's uh, maybe a good uh, first time around, 10 minute job, no more than that. Thanks for watching.